Hello, and welcome to History Pod. On the 9th of February 1969, the first test flight of the Boeing 747 jumbo jet took place. The 747 went on to hold the record as the largest passenger capacity aircraft for 37 years before it was surpassed by the Airbus A380. The 1960s had seen an enormous increase in the use of air transportation. However, existing planes, such as the workhorse Boeing 707, were relatively small. The first person to approach Boeing with the idea of developing a larger passenger aircraft was Juan Tripp, the president of Pan Am, but the company had already produced initial large airframe designs for a failed bid to build a cargo plane for the United States Air Force. By 1966, design for a passenger version was still far from complete, but in April, Pan Am committed to buying 25 747s. Boeing agreed to deliver the first one by the end of 1969. However, at that time, a suitable engine still hadn't been created, and the company didn't even own a facility large enough to assemble the completed aircraft. These issues were eventually overcome to allow the first test flight to take place on the 9th of February 1969, piloted by Jack Waddell with co-pilot Brian Wiggle and flight engineer Jess Wallach. The plane, named the City of Everett, left the Payne Field Airport near Everett in Washington State, about 30 miles north of Seattle, and performed a number of tests before landing again at 12.50 in the afternoon. Over a thousand more test flights were conducted before the plane was finally certified by the Federal Aviation Authority on the 30th of December that year. The first passenger flight took place on the 22nd of January 1970 on Pan Am's New York to London route. 